Hello, I'm Sharan, a Cloud Support Engineer here at the AWS office in Bangalore. Today, I'm going to discuss the reasons why you might get an email address is not verified error when using Amazon Simple Email Service to send emails. I'll also show you how to resolve this issue. Let's get started. When you send emails using Amazon SES, you must verify the domains or email addresses that you send emails from. If you send emails using an unverified identity, you can get message rejected errors. These errors can apply to the from, source, sender, or return path addresses. Also, the error codes returned for this differ depending on whether you're using the SMTP interface or you're using the API. The error codes that are returned are 554 and 400 respectively. Let's see what could be the possible reasons for this error and then find out how to resolve them. The first thing to check here is the verification status of the email identity. To check this, navigate to the SES console and then choose Verified Identities under the Configuration section. A page appears that shows all the identities in that region as well as some details about them. In this section of the page, search for the identity that you received the error for and then check the status field for the error. If the status is either pending or unverified, then refer to a documentation that explains how the verification process can be completed for domains and email addresses in SES. If the identity indeed has a status of verified, then the next thing to check is whether the email address on the message that resulted in the message rejected error exactly matches the email that you verified with SES. Note that email addresses are case sensitive. If the email address in the error matches the email address that you've already verified, then confirm whether your SES account in that region is out of the SES sandbox. If your account is in the Amazon SES sandbox, then you must verify the recipient email address in addition to verifying your sender identity. To check this, navigate to the account dashboard section. If you see a warning box at the top of the console that says your Amazon SES account is in the sandbox, then your account is in the sandbox. If so, choose the request production access button to request production access. After you get production access, you can send emails to unverified email addresses as well. If your account is out of the SES sandbox, then verify whether your email sending method is using the correct AWS region. Email identity verification is separate for each region. This means that you must verify the identity that you use to send emails in each region that you want to send emails from. Finally, confirm that you're connecting to the correct Amazon SES endpoint. Amazon SES has endpoints in several regions, which means that you must make sure to communicate with the endpoint for the Amazon SES SMTP interface or the Amazon SES API in the correct region. So now you know how to identify the reason behind the email address is not verified error and how to mitigate these errors. For more information about these errors, refer to the Knowledge Center article linked in the description. Thanks for watching and happy cloud computing from all of us here at AWS.